Everybody. Welcome back to Twinning Up the House. So, I made a video a while ago about my new roof. And now, a few months later, we finally have an agreement. Which is, this roof is crap. I was right. I was right to yell at the roofer because the roofer was a liar. So anyways, we got a whole lot of stuff as compared to last time. Now, first thing being, See these tiles? Apparently these tiles and the screw down method is not what is supposed to be used on my roof for the pitch. Tiles are too big, not supposed to use them. Plus the screw down and the wood method, which there's like wood slats under these, it's not right for my pitch. So the building inspector has come back out and guess what? Let's call it an L. I'd like to make an F, but I'm not real sure how to do that because the roof has failed inspection. I have a failure on my building permit for my roof now. So, I had inspectors come out. I had my inspector come out, I had their inspector come out. They said the roof had issues with the two inspections. Then, I had roofers come out, three roofers, to try and repair the things that were listed on the inspection reports. All three roofers said, not repairable, too much stuff. So, what was on that, you ask? I'll tell you what was on that. And the other thing is, is roofer number three, this guy from Greg, from Greg's Roofing in Ormond Beach, cool guy, apparently helped write the code. He took a look at it and he's the one that said, the roofing system is wrong for the pitch of your roof. The valleys are wrong for the pitch of your roof. This roof never should have passed inspection. So we called up the city and that's why it is now failed inspection three months after it was done. So. I'm going to go through what is wrong with my barrel tile roof so that all of you can have an idea out there on what is wrong with the barrel tile roof when they put it on. We're going to go through the whole list. It's long. Be prepared. All right. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so this is where we're going to start. Don't quite remember if this was done before or after I made my video, but there was large holes all through here, and I said it's not supposed to have that. So the roofer came out and put in this, which went all the way across. This has no weep holes. This created a leak in the porch downstairs over the front door, ruining my front door, which I then had to refinish 20 hours of sanding to refinish my front door because this valley is incorrect. It is not the right width. It is not the right material. And for the pitch of my roof, which is a 1950s low slope hip roof, you are not allowed to have an open valley which this is kind of an open valley, sort of not an open valley, but regardless, it should be a closed valley, which means there should be a gutter going down the middle and mortar down the edge of the tiles and water cannot get back underneath my roof, underneath the tiles. All right, so that is one major section of problem. We have several broken tiles, broken tile, broken tile, broken tile, broken tile, which the roofer is like, that just happens because the roofer was crappy. Additionally, how you can just pick this stuff up should not happen. How you can get up here and pick this section up should not happen. That's actually a pretty tight spot. So none of that should happen. Also, all this cracking along here where the mortar is should not be totally fell off right there. A uh, thing. Additionally, everyone knows I have never liked this counter flashing. Now roofer who I so dislike said it's just counter flashing and this is a good method to do this. You'll also notice all the stucco has gone off my chimney. It's a new addition. So let's sit here for a while and have a discussion about this. Okay. Down here you'll notice there's two types of materials on this counter flashing. That is not up to code. That's not what you're supposed to do. It's only supposed to be one kind of material. Corners. Corners are not supposed to be met up like that especially with all these holes. So the color flashing is not a good method to use on stucco, as I previously said. Uh, plus it has a lot of holes, it was done poorly, whole thing's jacked. This flashing, you're not supposed to be able to pick it up like this. Not a thing. So where did the stucco go on my chimney, you may ask? All right. 
Well, as previously discussed, there was barrel tile up here. They took it off and replaced it with caulk because everybody knows caulk is as good as barrel tile. They replaced it with caulk and that lasted some total of about a month before water got behind the stucco and caused the stucco to fall off of the chimney. Now, we started with a large tumor looking thing that was right here. So, probably because this is a big crack, water's probably going down that. But uh, it fell off over here. And then, after it fell off over here, after a few days, even though we caulked what we could, it fell off over here. And then, after it fell off over here, we go around to the other side of the chimney and it fell off over here. So, at that point in time, I had to get new insurance. And since I had to get new insurance, an inspector had to come out. And I figured it was better just to bust all the stucco off than to have a chimney that looked like the third rung of high hell in an abandoned house. So that is why there is no longer stucco on my chimney. All right, and you can see more lovely mortar work right there. Now, let's go back here. Since I last spoke with you guys, the newest thing we have, the one of the new things we have is a leak. This was where they came and fixed the leak the first time. Leak didn't get fixed. Roofer says, not my problem. So, leak continues right here. We also have, I don't know if you can see it. So much on here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, that was a good angle. See that? See how this last row does that? Last row ain't supposed to do that. Additionally, apparently these tiles were supposed to be placed in a completely different manner, which is not the manner they were placed. That's why they have this weird angle on them that none of the others have. And that's that. Also, did you hear all that shifting when I stepped on it? That's because none of this is actually attached very well. So, all in all, everyone agrees. Oh, and the flat roof has become involved because as you can see this dark marks is where water's pooling, water's pooling, water's pooling. Apparently the incline of the flat roof is not correct and nor is it supposed to have all these lumpy bumpies around here. Like, I don't know if you can see this so well on here. Camera down. Yeah, maybe that's a good angle. And it's not actually attached to anything. They just put it up in the air over here. So that's not actually attached. That's completely hollow. So the whole thing is a train wreck. But everybody agrees, the insurance company's people, my people, that this roof has got to go. So I've got to get a new roof. So it's going to storm in a minute. i got to get off the roof. But the answer is I get a whole new roof. That means i got to go through the whole, I'm going to leave the house. I work at home. I'm not staying at home again for the scraping and the banging and the lifting and the amount of crap that came through my ceiling into my garage. They made my garage look like a black desert, which I'm not entirely sure that stuff stayed, but I cleaned it up. Most of it, not all of it. Oh, and the other thing is, is that apparently with this screw down thing that you're not supposed to use, you're supposed to use mortar down for the angle, which means they have to put plywood. My roof is made of beams. My, the wood part underneath this, and they're going to have to plywood now over the entire thing, that'd be one hell of a roof, in order to fix all the nine gazillion holes used to screw these in, because you're not supposed to screw it into my roof. So, at the end of this, I'm still missing a few things, unfortunately. Oh god, I missed some of the big ones, actually. I'm missing a few things. The front porch has to be redone because the ma massive amount of water going over the front porch was caused because the drip edge they put on there isn't really a drip edge, so it doesn't have a lip, so water doesn't kick out. Train wreck, train wreck, train wreck, train wreck. But I'm going to be very, very, I want to use my own roofer. And I, every, this sucker is going to be done before they touch my roof again, precisely as every single line item that I have, because... I'm not doing this again. I want my barrel tile roof to be put on here, and then I don't want to think about my damn roof. I don't want to think about my damn roof for like 30 years, because these suckers are supposed to last like 50. So I don't even want to know it exists. So here's to hoping there's not a big hurricane between now and when my roof gets replaced, because this sucker, according to my last roofer, ain't going to stay on. And that'll be all. Oh my god. So in September, It'll be three years since my roof is damaged. Let's hope to God they get it fixed within that three-year window. Thank you.
Bye.